I am an elementary and special education major with a cognitive disabilities minor. And the model that I chose was the youth management system. Um, this model is have a consistent, um, immediate, predictable, and structured um, to help teach social and academic skills to the students. Um, it's typically used in a special education classroom for students with severe behavioral disorders. Um, some of the key components are um, social skills instruction, so working with these students to learn how to communicate effectively, um, how to interact with others appropriately, um, how to interpret body language, how to use their body language, and uh, just <coughs> teaching them their social skills. Um, another component was the token economy, or the points earned system, which I know a lot of us don't really care for. Um, this one's got broken down into three levels. Um, the first one at the points level is very immediate feedback, so students are constantly getting points earned for their behavior um, throughout the day. Um, after they kind of are getting used to the point system, they can move on to the progress level, where then it's more evaluated at the end of the day, and they're learning more social skills by being able to no negotiate how many points they earn for that day, and it's more of a positive and negative than an actual uh, number of points. And then the merit level is as the students are trying to transition back into the regular education classroom and they're getting used to not necessarily needing those points as reinforcers. Um, the next component was a reinforcement menu, which is a list of extrinsic reinforcers that students can choose from um, to reinforce um, an acceptable behavior or desired behavior that we want from them. So if we see them do something that we approve of or that we like to see in them, they can have they can choose a reward from a list that is provided from them. Um, some of the rewards could be like you can have a piece of gum during class, or you can have extra computer time, um, just small things like that. Um, and then the next component was a specific classroom teaching strategies, just making sure that as teachers were being consistent, immediate, predictable, and structured to help them with their behavioral disorders. Um, and then. The, um, use of office intervention, so if things cannot be managed, the students can go to the office to get um, their issues taken care of. So the first strategy that I chose is the bonus coupons. Um, they're used to reinforce and reward acceptable behavior and academic progress, um, and used to catch um, the students being good. Um, some examples of these would be um, like a one-day grace period for assignment or a free pass, a free answer on a test, or something, something like that that they can strive for, and it's something that I don't think should be given all the time, just an option for something really outstanding that they may have done. And then the last one was realness acceptance and empathetic listening. 